So last night and what should be hitting consoles today, Square Enix dropped a massive patch for Marvel's Avengers. Today we check out the important part, well the important parts in my opinion that you mostly want to hear about. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So last night we got the V1.3.0 patch notes for PS4, Xbox One, PC and Stadia. Now I ain't going to read through the entire thing because it's absolutely massive and I don't want to waste your time with many, many changes which to be honest you probably won't even have realised well there was an issue there in the first place. But I will read through the important parts in my opinion and I will showcase the entire patch if you want to read through the patch notes on screen. Just pause the video and read through it if you want to. But I do just want to talk about mainly the changes that affected multiplayer matchmaking gear, exotics and a few other bits and bobs. Okay, so starting with multiplayer and matchmaking, various fixes to multiplayer and matchmaking systems including reduction of cooldown after leaving a strike team before the user could matchmake again from 30 seconds down to 4 seconds. Matchmaking now stays enabled during mission launch countdown to give more time for players to join. Fixed a bug where the searching for heroes UI would not always match the actual matchmaking status. Fixed the bug where multiple host migrations would prevent the player from matching successfully again. Fix quick match, launch with any hero failing when two quick match players joined another match simultaneously. Fixed losing quick match status when a player failed to join another match. Fixed a bug where leaving an existing strike team would prevent the next quick match attempt from working properly. So there are a few changes with multiplayer and matchmaking. Now we're going to go and move on to uh, gear, challenges and rewards. Now like I said there's plenty of changes with this uh, patch and the patch notes. Like I said I will put them on screen for you after I've talked about what I think is necessary so if you do want to pause the video and check them out you can do so. So gear challenges and rewards. Various gear challenges and reward fixes slash tuning including Fixed an issue where the fabrication machine would occasionally not reward an outfit or units if it's a duplicate pattern. Well that's good to know because the amount of patterns I lost here is unbelievable. Fixed an issue where resources in a player's inventory, including units, would disappear if they reached a total of 32,000. We capped all units and resources at 65,000 for storage and ensured that they would not disappear moving forward. If you lost a large number of units due to this bug, please contact Square Enix customer service. Resolved bad save states and returning missing campaign outfits to users from a bug that was reverting them to a locked state. Note, iconic outfits may still be missing or locked, but we are investigating. Increased gear power cap from threat sectors, drop zones and hives to 130 to align with their max mission power, so that's pretty cool. Exotic gear now have higher attribute points. Power level 130 plus exotic gear now always has better attributes than other rarities, which is amazing because when this game first dropped and people rushed through the multiplayer side of the game and people were getting exotics you could actually get legendaries that had the same stats which were actually better than the exotics which is just bizarre so it's good to see there's actually a reason now to play for exotics which is pretty cool gear that was erroneously being rewarded at power level one and uncommon rarity has been fixed in all activities activity specific gear earned in elite heroic hives is now awarded at correct power and rarity now there was a lot of problems here with people running the heroic uh, hives or the elite heroic hives and not actually being rewarded decent gear which is good that that's being fixed gear with hero specific perks can now be awarded at epic legendary and exotic rarities with the correct number of perks. Previously legendary items of this type had too many hero specific perks and epics were not awarded at all so that's pretty cool too. Faction XP is awarded to the entire strike team when rescuing inhumans in war zones. Great change. Hulk's fractured outfit now appears in the appearance menu when awarded through a rare pattern. Will display item correctly in inventory of players who have already collected this outfit. A rare pan is now correctly awarded at the start of the more assemble required mission. Various hero challenges that were incorrectly tracking progress or not advancing under certain conditions have been fixed. And that is that people. Now like I said there's plenty more for you to read through if you do want to check out if a bug you've reported or noticed has been sorted. 
Now, after reading through the entire thing, I still feel there's a few things missing from this, which I know they are working on for a future patch, which, for instance, like the faction missions and some of the bounties bogging out for a lot of people. I mean, many of my friends are experiencing this too, and they said they are working on a fix. They also tweeted this out not long after tweeting the patch notes. Due to an issue that has been discovered, we advise to refrain from refreshing your weekly challenges if you are seeing a missing one, as doing so may result in a crash. We're currently investigating this and we'll update with more information so you guys just be warned of that but yeah guys some decent changes in my opinion i mean there's a lot here like i said for you to read through if you want to i'm glad exotics now worth actually farming because like I said, you could get legendaries that were even better than exotics that had the exact same benefits to them, which is crazy. So yes, exotics now seem to actually be worth farming for. And it seems as though the elite heroic hives have been fixed too, which is good. But yeah guys, if any more changes do come or the next patch, I will have you covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more. But on that note guys, I am out. I'll leave you to now watch or read through the rest of these patch notes if you want to. That is up to you. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.